This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Stay tuned for a channel update to be discussed at the end of this video. So it's been a while since I've been on my search for the perfect weapons, but I'm back and today I want to go over the top 8 best automatic ballistic and energy rifles and pistols in Fallout 4. As in previous episodes, these weapons will be evaluated based on their damage per shot, not their damage per second. Uh, with all that in mind, let's go ahead and start with number 8 the automatic pipe pistol slash rifle. A fully upgraded automatic pipe gun will deal 16 damage per shot to your enemies. Uh, considering that the fully upgraded semi-auto pipe pistol slash rifle deals 19 damage to your enemies, you're actually better off using an automatic pipe weapon as opposed to a semi-automatic pipe weapon. Uh, while the pipe pistol slash rifle is normally kind of bad, the automatic version is pretty decent in comparison. Number seven the automatic 10 millimeter pistol. A fully upgraded automatic 10 millimeter pistol deals 22 damage per shot. Uh, now, if you compare this to a semi-auto fully upgraded 10 millimeter pistol, you're getting nine damage less with a fully upgraded automatic 10 millimeter pistol. Uh, while that's not as favorable as the comparison between the semi-auto and automatic versions of pipe guns, it's still pretty decent. Uh, of course, my only real gripe with the 10mm pistol is that there isn't a 10mm submachine gun that was in both Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Uh, maybe it will return later via some DLC. Number 6, the Automatic Assault Rifle. It never ceases to amaze me how the 556 Assault Rifle is somehow worse than the fully upgraded versions of the automatic regular combat rifle. A fully upgraded automatic assault rifle deals only 34 damage per shot. Uh, while that's better than both the pipe pistol and 10 millimeter pistol, 556 ammo is relatively uncommon and expensive when compared to 45 ammo. Uh, speaking of 45 ammo, that brings us to number five, and that is the automatic combat rifle. So the fully upgraded combat rifle deals 37 damage per shot, which is three more than the automatic assault rifle. What's also kind of weird is that the combat rifles in the game start to appear on enemies as early as level 15, while the assault rifle doesn't really start to appear until level 25 or so. Uh, compared to the semi-automatic version, you're getting 12 less damage. That's the combat rifle we're talking about, which is roughly about the same amount of damage loss as the differences between the 10 millimeter pistol variants. Uh, the automatic combat rifle maximizes the potential of the 45 round on an automatic weapon. Number four, the automatic assault rifle. It's kind of funny, but the automatic laser rifle deals 38 damage per shot, which is only one damage point better than the automatic combat rifle when it's fully upgraded. Uh, depending on the barrel you have equipped to your semi-automatic laser rifle, you're getting anywhere from 12 to 34 less damage for the improved long and improved sniper barrel versions, respectively. Uh, this difference isn't that bad, considering that the sniper barrel takes two to three seconds to fully charge. Number three the automatic plasma rifle. So we're finally starting to get into some of the high tier automatic weapons in Fallout 4. Uh, the fully upgraded automatic plasma rifle deals 36 ballistic and 36 energy damage for a total of 72 damage per shot. Uh, that's almost twice that of the fully upgraded automatic uh, laser rifle and has more ballistic damage than number six and below. So that includes the assault rifle, 10 millimeter pistol, and the pipe guns. While you are losing anywhere from 16 to 48 damage per shot, you're still getting one of the most powerful automatic weapons in Fallout 4. Uh, I just hope you've got the money to pay for all of those plasma cartridges. Number two, the automatic combat shotgun. Uh, honestly, this really surprised me as the fully upgraded automatic combat shotgun clocks in at roughly 75 damage per shot. Uh, considering that shotgun ammo is somewhat plentiful and the fact that the stock automatic combat shotgun deals 50 damage per shot, you're looking at one of the mainstays of your arsenal in both the early and late game if you are a commando perk character. Uh, honestly, this is pretty impressive 
and definitely worth picking up and making a part of your main arsenal. And finally, number one, the Automatic Railway Rifle. Uh, so this gun made number three on our top nine best ballistic and energy rifles list and clocks in at the same 100 damage per shot. Uh, keep in mind with the fully upgraded commando perk, uh, you'll be getting roughly like 200 damage per shot out of this thing, which is on par with a stock missile launcher uh, before the heavy guns perk. Uh, that's pretty nice if you ask me. Anyway guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. Uh, as far as the uh, special announcement channel update thing, uh, I do have a Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description. Uh, with some of the things that have been happening on YouTube this week, for whatever reason, if my channel just like gets obliterated, you can check the Twitter and then find out what the heck happened. And of course I'm referring to the uh, I Hate Everything channel that's here on YouTube. It just got like totally obliterated. It's back up now, but I kind of wanted to make this as a uh, fail safe. Again, you don't have to follow the Twitter page. It's cool with me. As always, take care and I'll see y'all next time.